Hello and welcome to Sports 5 TV. We're joined by Bradley Smith, British MotoGP star. So it's your second season in MotoGP. How have you developed as a racer since joining the Premier Class? Well, it's uh, been you know very interesting uh, last 18 months. Um, obviously, I started the the season 2013 last year as a rookie, you know, and uh, slowly found my feet, you know, through the the first part of the year and uh, finished the second half of the season quite strong. You know, had uh, three top six finishes, which was uh, which was good, and uh, was pleased with the outcome. This year, I've made another step in terms of performance. Had some good qualifying performances, but uh, race results still haven't quite got where where I need them to be. But uh, still, plenty of racing to do this year, and I've signed uh, another contract for 2015 with the with the team. So, uh, 18 months to to show you know what I can really do. Well, you certainly have got uh, many more races to come. And up next is obviously the British Grand Prix. How much do you look forward to that event on the calendar? British GP is always very interesting. It's our only chance as British riders to ride against our home crowd or in front of our home crowd. So, uh, yeah, it's a special event. Also, living only 30 minutes away from Silverstone, you know, it's very much a home GP. I have a lot of family and friends coming to support me and I'm sure a lot of British fans as well. So it's, uh, it's a good event for, for our calendar. And having all that support there on the day, how much of an advantage does that give you as a racer when you're on the track? I think having the the home home crowd there is, uh, you know, it can be positive and it can be negative. For me, it always seems to be a positive. I've had two podiums the last four years, so uh, I enjoy riding, you know, against uh, against the pressure. Um, this year, I'm actually leading British rider going into into the race, so there's a bit more of the the focus on me. So, uh, be, be an interesting one, but I think, you know, quarter of a second you can expect, which doesn't sound a lot in normal life, but in MotoGP that can be, you know, three, four positions, so uh, exciting times. Sure, and as we all know, Mark Marquez is really dominating the sport at the moment. Is it, does you think it ever gets demoralising for other races that he's so dominant, or do you think everyone's looking to achieve the best results they can achieve and get as close to him as they can? It's always good to have a goal. Right now, Mark and uh, Honda and his whole crew have set a, a benchmark and everyone's trying to, to close close on that. Yamaha are working extremely hard with their two factory riders to try and bring the, the, the Yamaha package as close as they can to them. I think that they're, they're getting very close. Uh, Jorge Lorenzo was less than a second away from the, the winner in Bruno, which was, I think, except for Mugello, the closest that they've been throughout the season. So it's definitely looking promising for the second half of the year. Um, so, yeah, we, we hope we hope to, to close the gap. As, as with anything, we see, you know, dominance from, from other people, like we saw in Formula 1 last year and we're seeing in Formula 1 this year. There's always a carrot. You always have to improve. And uh, it's, it's good that Mark's there for the championship. Absolutely. And... Uh a little bit more about your history. I know your dad raced motocross, bought you your first bike at the age of six. Did you love it from the off or did it take a little bit of encouragement at all? No, I, I think if you give a motorcycle to a young kid and uh, it never takes any encouragement or it certainly didn't for me. Um, I'd already ridden my BMX around the garden numerous times and destroyed the garden by building jumps. So uh, by the time I got a motocross bike, I was, was well underway and uh, haven't really looked back since. I mean, I turned pro at 15 and been traveling the world for the last nine years. So, uh, yeah, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. It's, it's the greatest, greatest job there is. Well, if, if that job didn't exist, what could you see yourself doing if there had to be one thing other than racing bikes? Um, I actually got asked asked this question this morning, um, and I'd like to be a secret agent or something. You know, something that involves, uh, you know, something with a bit more, you know, or the same type of adrenaline, you know, and things that that's going on. I don't know if I could be a, a special special agent on a motorbike or something like that. I don't know, but uh, yeah. I, I, I've, I've often thought about myself doing something like that, so uh, you never know. When my career's done here, there's still plenty of time in life. Well, you've heard it here first, Agent Bradley Smith. Thanks a lot for joining us. Cheers.